Hello guys, Apollo here, uh, bringing you some cool information about a game called Deity, one of the PAX 10 games this year. Uh, it was made by a group of students at DigiPen, actually, um, using C++, C++, they developed their own custom engine and everything to make this game that I would describe as somewhere between puzzle strategy and hack and slash. But only kind of. It's it's a very interesting combination of all of those. Uh, as you can see, the art style is just the, the the visuals in general are very dark, very black and purple with accents of yellow and orange and other things like that uh, that uh, become very important and and meaningful throughout the game. So as you can see, you work you, you play as some little demon, not so little demon looking character who you control or how you control with the uh, left mouse, mouse button you click that and wherever your cursor is your demon your character will walk in that direction uh, the other thing that you can do as you can see on screen is the uh, little gas ball teleport thing that he can do between little islands and across larger areas very quickly that is done by clicking the right mouse button on your destination if there's nothing in the way he'll go there if there is he won't and he'll get stuck at the barrier that's also how you attack enemies, as you can see here and here. Uh, you right-click on an enemy, which essentially engulfs him. Uh, one of the things I noticed while playing is that you want to try and attack your enemies without them having seen you or taken any notice of you, so attacking from the back is preferable. This way you don't take any damage upon the attack or f be spotted by other uh, enemies. There, I messed up, got ran from and took some health damage. Uh, the other, one of the other key aspects of the game uh, I figured out thus far is using torches to your advantage. Despite the fact that light hurts you if you are in its radius, uh, assimilating torches into the more purple and dark color that they become when you teleport into them, it also gives you health. So it becomes a very key aspect of the game to not waste those torches and also to use them to your advantage when trying to take out enemies. So you're, the, the goal seems to be, uh, so far, to make it through these levels, taking out all of the enemies in any given level, and progressing and not dying, as per usual in a video game. Uh, another cool mechanic, which we'll see in just a second, is the... I forgot at the moment what it's called, but essentially it's chain teleportation. Uh, where you enter slow-mo, and you can uh, use, depending on how many you have, you can see in the bottom right, there's a three of three, which means I have a total of three chains that regenerate slowly over time. You can link to those gargoyles, to torches, to and to enemies, to do a multi-path transportation. It's very effective for taking out multiple enemies, from, for going from torch to enemy to torch, or just for traveling through areas where there are a lot of enemies that you want to try and avoid. It's, it's, it's actually pretty brilliant. I like it a lot. Let's see, what else is there to say about these guys? I really like this game, unfortunately for many people in the world. It only runs on Mac, and, or excuse me, not Mac, only on Windows. Uh, you can download it for free at www.deity-game.com. Uh, all information about the game, the download link, uh, as well as forums, uh, places to report bugs, and all of that other stuff is there, as well as thanks to their Facebook and Twitter. Uh, beyond... What you've seen on screen and what I've talked about, the game is not very long. Uh, one of the I actually read up about this, and they wanted to spend more time making interesting, unique, and engaging gameplay than they did producing something large and mediocre. Uh, there, there is talk from the developers of releasing their map editor for you know to give the community the ability to make maps and give those out and all kinds of things, which I think would be freaking awesome because. This game gets pretty difficult at the later stages, as we should see shortly. You have huge clusters of enemies that you have to take out. So you essentially never want to leave uh, your torches. You want to plot your attacks from torch, enemy, enemy, torch, and back, and so forth. Uh, and yeah, the game gets pretty difficult, but I really, really enjoyed playing it. And I really do hope that they release the map better, because that could be just, that could create hours of fun, because this game is very entertaining and it's just yeah, unique in its playstyle. It's, it's very brilliant on their parts. Uh, I, 
The only thing that I think I can, at least off the top of my head, criticize would be... Honestly, I'm not totally sure. Probably the cross-platform support, as silly as that may seem. But for what the game is, they did all of the things they wanted to do very well. And I can't easily think of things to add without really changing the way the game works and how it feels. Uh, so, yeah, I, if anybody who likes anything from puzzles to mild hack and slash and strategy games, this really touches on all of those areas of be of playing games. You, you know, you gotta pa you gotta do your paths correctly. You gotta make sure that you're not wasting your torches when you have full health and all of this other cool stuff. And just get through the levels, as few as there may be at present. It's it's very fun and very rewarding. I think uh, I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, check it out again at www.deity-game.com. Uh, it's free for Windows. And you guys should definitely check this game out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's Apollo. And I should have more PAX 10 stuff coming for you soon. So uh, have a good day and bye-bye.